Thank you. Yeah. Hello, everybody. This is going to be a lightning talk, so we only have 10 minutes time, and also we don't want to take the time from the people coming after us. So if you want to settle down, and uh, then we can start promptly on time and get going with our talk. What is? Yeah. OK. So this is Juan. Uh, user Buck Warp from Argentina. And this is uh, Rainer, user Buselig from Germany. And we are both here thanks to the Tandem Scholarship of Wikimedia Deutschland. Uh, we are not going to talk about the scholarship right now, but if you have questions, we can tell you about it later. Yeah. But to get this uh, scholarship and this tandem going, we had uh, to discuss about what we're going to present here, and we decided on the GLAM projects and uh, the idea is to compare the cultural landscapes and the approaches to GLAM projects in Argentina and in Germany. So I'm going to start out uh, to explain to you how we're doing GLAM in Germany. We t talked over two hours, three hours on uh, Zoom, and uh, so I'm not going to bore you with the details, so I'm just going to go through the bullet points. So in Germany, we're working, of course, in, in, on an individual level. Uh, Doing our usual work, and uh, we keep on we keep that on track on the on a glam portal in the German Wikipedia language version. We go to glam on tour events, as you see here, to the castle of Saint Souci in uh, in Potsdam near Berlin. Uh, these are usually weekend uh, uh, events where the hotel costs and travel costs are sponsored by Wikipedia by the chapter Wikimedia Germany. And we also have what we call the cool tour, which is more as a little uh, downsized uh, glam on tour, which is only on the weekends, which is only on a local level. So the volunteers go there on their own expense. And uh, then we have in the um, lockdown, we initiated something called glam digital, digital, uh, where museums are actually uh, presenting themselves in Zoom conferences for two hours time. We have talks, uh, exchanges virtually as we're actually doing it here with the audience outside of the venue here. We have a big chapter in Germany. Uh, they're not in the whole building. Uh, they only have some floors there, but uh, I think they're working on getting uh, all the floors. Uh, <laughs> uh, Clem, uh, the chapter Wikimedia Deutschland has its own project. It's Glam and Kultur and Gedächtnisinstitut, and they have an own project manager who is uh, very active, uh, helping us and also doing his own uh, work uh, with the institutions. And there are other departments uh, in uh, there who are like in political lobbying, uh, open education and open data. There is event management when they have to get the hotels for the Glamour Tour and things like that. And uh, there is a community engagements uh, program that also help when you organize uh, things or when we need uh, literature and things like that. You can also go to community and, and engagement. And there are some special projects uh, that we do. We have an, an annual meeting of all German-speaking uh, Glam volunteers, that includes also the people from Austria and Switzerland. They have, they have own chapters. So I'm mainly talking about a German uh, chapter, but when we're talking about the German community, that's uh, Switzerland and Austria included. We have a community initiated but chapter supported uh, initiative, that's the Kulturbotschafter. That's somebody, I am the Kulturbotschafter, for instance. <laughs> And I'm going to have another lightning talk this afternoon at a quarter past two, so come and hear more about that. It's somebody who is more or less an intermediary between uh, the volunteers and institutions. Uh, and we have an uh, initiative by art historian students who are also active in as Wikipedians, and they're trying to get merge these two communities. They made a living handbook to more or less uh, give an aid how to write articles about art history uh, that also would fit like the academic uh, uh, interests. So let's move to. 
to Argentina. So, okay, in Argentina, most of the work is uh, carried out by the chapter. I'll talk about the community-led projects in the next slide. But uh, we usually approach the institutions, we see what we can do together, and once we know, uh, it's usually up to them to see how we can continue the work. For example, if they have a digitized archive or pictures, we can teach them how to upload them to Commons, but if they don't want to do that, we can upload them uh, ourselves. But right now, our main focus is the digitization project. That's a very difficult word, sorry. <laughs> uh, which is an eight years old project that has been extremely successful. Uh, with all those very nice stati statistics you can see there. And actually, it's going to be a poster session later today about it, uh, presented by Mauricio Villalgenta, who is here among us. So be sure to go there and ask him a lot of questions about it. Uh, we also offer courses both to the institutions and general public about the Wikimedia movement in general, intellectual property, uh, etc. But what about the community? There are some community initiatives that are presented to Wikimedia Argentina and then carry out as a chapter project because uh, it's not the same to, you know, especially when you're approaching an institution to be just a sole volunteer than to have the support of your chapter. And in the end, we are a very small community. We know uh, each other very much. And just a matter of, you know, uh, creating a roadmap to see what we can do together. Uh, hopefully by next year Wikimania, I can tell you about the project that I'm building right now, but hopefully those stickers can give you a hint of what I'm doing. Uh, but there are some community-led projects that are appearing right now with the support of the WMF and Wikimedia Argentina. Uh, most notably, Archivo Inundación by Berna Gaitan, who is preserving the memory of the 2003 Santa Fe flood. So, um, some similar similarities we observe here is that we have a lot of support from our local chapters, but we also have the same difficulties to approach institutions from the volunteer level. And we have highly engaged individual editors. So, what are the differences? In Germany, most of the work is done by uh, the community volunteers on a voluntary basis. Well, here in Argentina, most of the work is carried out by the chapter. Yeah, and when it comes to resources, in Germany we have a large community and we also have a large individual chapter with, and that's also a big advantage, with own money. So uh, we have less red tape when we uh, want to apply for uh, funds and for uh, support, and that is of course a very big advantage. In Argentina, we are a very small community and we have uh, even less staff compared to, to Germany. And we don't have our own money. We rely exclusively on what the WMF gives us. So uh, that also brings us to the uh, further differences. Uh, because of our sel uh, self-funded uh, uh, way of doing it in Germany, we have a very self-content community that doesn't share much uh, to the uh, international uh, uh, glam uh, outreach and uh, such things and uh, to the global community. That's because we also ha only have to report to the German chapter, so it's not really necessary to uh, publish it in an English version. And also, yeah, it's, an, it's also a language thing. A lot of people in Germany don't want to communicate in English. Uh, in, in Argentina, we share our activities on the uh, Wikimedia outreach. We also participate on the Glam newsletter of that website, not only to showcase what we do, but also to learn what the rest of the world is doing. And if we find some projects interesting, see how we can apply them uh, here. Yeah. Why well, it's not switching? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what are the lessons learned? I mean, for me in Germany, it's kind of like when I uh, talk to one, uh, we should go more international. We should, uh, if you're doing good, you can also talk about it and you let, let the others know. And uh, we have to do more in that respect. Uh, well, I think we should do more things to empower the community to let some projects in GLAM and, you know, in all other kind of uh, projects in the Wikimedia uh, universe. But, you know, we could do some annual meetings between the, the members of the chapter to improve uh, GLAM projects, we can uh, 
Um, do something similar to the culture but after that Rainer will explain more detail later. So we can have, you know, um, an intermediate between the institution and the sole volunteer that wants to do the work. Well, so you actually le a little bit less than one minute. If there are any questions, you know, give us the lightning questions now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, it wasn't really intended. I mean, we are happy that we made it in this in these ten minutes. <laughs> so we're yeah. Go ahead, fast. Either hear or shout. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> Hi, my name is Rima. I'm from Indonesia. Uh, so I just wonder uh, what kind of institu institutions that you have approached. I mean, uh, I really want uh, to have a partnership with uh, more scientific uh, some institutions. So just necessarily not really claim. I mean, a lot of scientific institutions like in Indonesia, myself, uh, like National Science Academy, they have a lot of collections on things, but they are not necessarily a gallery, an archive, a library, or a museum. Right? There are a lot of uh, scientific. Uh, institutions and academies uh, like that, uh, which uh, nominally they are not glams, but they have collections of knowledge. Right? Uh, I wonder whether you have tried to approach those kind of institutions as well, or uh, or what is your experience regarding that? Thank you. So uh, we run out of time. So if you want, we can answer yeah, we'll privately later. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, thank you everyone for being here. If you want to keep in touch with, with me, I'm at Bad Work on every single social media you can imagine, and on Wikimedia too. And for Rainer, you can also s uh, search for him with his username or at his email. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. So sorry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it was really intended. <laughs>